morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hello guys, in this React Native Animation tutorial, you will learn how to bounce object through animation. So let's, let me uh, uh, click here and the object would bounce, fall and bounce, let's see, like this. Okay, that's what we'd be learning at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So as usual, I'll use my uh, code snippet and to get started, um, well, I'll in this tutorial, instead of function component, I will uh, use class component and I would import a, export is as a default and uh, it's a class component. So I'll write it here, class and uh, because it's class component, so we need to extend uh, components from React Native. We are good. And as it is component, so we also need to implement render function. So let's create an implement and let's put this return block within the function. Okay, we are good now. All right. And over here, we have this uh, container, our main container. I'll give it a flex property one and justify content. It'd be flex and because this is our primary access and I want to put this button within my primary axis and at the end so that's why flex end and I also want it to uh, horizontally center it so this is align item center okay we're good so what's happening here justify content put this button over here at the end of the screen and align item would put it in middle of this view over here all right so now the first thing we need to do we need to create a button so this is the button we'd be creating let's go ahead and do that as usual i will use the touchable opacity to do it which is my favorite customized button component and we'll give it some style object so let's go ahead and create that style object so styles dot button good now let's give it some properties button Okay, so what do you want with this button? Definitely we want width and height. So we'd say 150, height say 70 pixel and padding say 10 and uh, border radius say 10 and background color say FC 5C65. Okay, so this is our button right now. And I also want there to be a little distance between this space and the button itself. So let's give it margin vertical, say 50. All right, so far, this is our button object. And uh, what else we create need to create right now? We want to create this ball object, and this is the object which we would be animating. So as this is the object we would be animating, we need to create this object using animated component dot view and which is default in react native so make sure that it's imported up there otherwise we'll get an error animated cool right okay and because this is the object we would be animating so let's uh, create this object using style proper style object so uh, styles dot uh, we can call it ball yeah that would work now let's create this ball object first over here and what do you want with this ball object we want to give it a width so 100 and height say another 100 and border radius because we want it to be perfect square so give it 50 pixel border radius and give it background color the background color is a tomato my favorite color and what else we want um i also want to give it a default uh position over here somewhere over here so I would position as it as position absolute absolute okay we are good next what else we want we want uh, left somewhere uh, 160 pixel so this would be from here to here this distance the horizontal distance and I also want it to position it vertical uh, in the vertically to say 150 so that's our a ball object right so let's save it and see everything whether everything is working correctly so here we go I saved it and we say only one module right so I need to uh, what else we need to do let's see so over here style so oh sorry over here this is the error I'm sorry about it so yes 
So that's what we have right now. But as you see, if I click on the button, nothing happens, right? It just uh, fade in and fade out. But we want it to be touchable. And what do we want to do with this? We want, to, once we click on this button, I want this to be fall down and bounce back, okay? So let's create this fall down and bounce back animation. So to do that, first I want to control this falling with a variable, right? So let's create a state variable. Name it animation, animation, and uh, create it as an object over here. So animated dot value. For now, I'll give it zero. All right. So this is the this this object would be dealing with the position over here. So slowly it'll fall down and bounce back. Okay. So we do this through an animation function. So uh, this animation function is uh, I'll be calling in uh, component did mount okay let's go ahead and import this function and animated dot spring right and it takes few arguments so the first one is uh, this type animation because the first argument is the argument that we would be animating all right so this is the value that we would be animating so that's why we call it over here and um, as a second parameter it takes a few values so first one is two value like say we'll put it somewhere 200 fix, uh, fix 50 pixel from top to bottom so from here to here 250 pixel and I also want to give it duration two seconds or 2000 milliseconds and after that we want to start the animation okay that's how we'll start the animation but in this case we're using spring instead of timing function with the spring function you can simulate a real world physical objects falling down from sky or from higher position so to do that we need to give uh, properties uh, values to two properties the first one is friction friction equals say seven I give it seven and the tension is say 20 like that okay with friction you can uh, create uh, obstacles or slow it down and tension means how fast it is coming down from top so with this combination uh, we can simulate a real world problem okay like for example when a heavy object falls from the sky it bounces back so that's what we'd be doing okay so now for now let's save the animation and see what's going on okay good all right so now it's asking me to use uh, native driver so let's use native driver use native driver true okay all right so that's what we have right now okay so but it's not working or it's not falling down as I reloaded or saved it right let's save it one more time yes it doesn't work why because I want to animate because right now I'm not animating the well the anima animation is happening over here but I'm not supplying it to this animation component so I need to supply it to this animation component to do this we need to create another variable say const trans over here we need to grab this value grab this value and then supply it to here so I want to deal with the transform property of this object so that's why I write transform and transform takes array of objects. So it might take translate X, translate Y and opacity or rotate. Uh, sorry, rotate, not really opacity. So we want to uh, move this ball uh, on the X or sorry, Y axis. So that's why we write translate Y and then I assign the value. So what's the value? This dot state dot animation okay so well actually when the app is loaded this function gets started but we are just now we are not supplying this value because it gets animated over or this gets changed the value from 0 to 250 in two seconds at the, and as it is changing we need to supply this value to transit y property of uh, transform object now we can bind this transfer object to our animated component within uh, using this trans object so let's uh, 
supply array of styles over here then we can call trans from here okay we are good okay so right now if I save uh, what will happen can you guess so this ball would fall down and bounce back let's see what happens yes okay that's what's happening so let's change the friction so friction change to one okay it bounces a lot because we don't have a lot of friction so it falls very quickly and bounce back but if you have 10 it would fall down very slowly you see and it doesn't bounce back because the object is too heavy uh, heavy in the sense that here right now it had so much friction it doesn't it can't really bounce back so the lower the friction value the higher the bounce so that's what you need to remember okay but right now this function gets called every time we load the app and it gets called automatically and then the animation starts as the animation starts we pass this this value start to, uh, starts to be animated and as it is animated we supply this value to transit y value and then we bind this value through trans object to our animated object hopefully it makes sense to you but if you have questions you can still leave comment in the comment section all right so right now what do we need to do we need to bind this animation like I don't want it to start automatically I want it to start now uh, once I click on the button so to do that we need to apply mm, on press event over here so on press okay all right and now we'll be calling a function but the function doesn't exist I would call it handle press okay now let's call handle press okay so let's define the function here uh, handle press and all we need to do is just move this section of code down there we are good all right so now as I as as I'll press on this button it would fall down and it would start animation okay but something might go wrong and which we will see very soon so let's save it and see what's going on over here all right so let's click on this while it falls back but nothing went wrong but actually what I wanted to notice you guys so like you see the value is zero here but over here the other value is top 150 so actually it is taking 150 which is over here if it took the value zero uh, well initial value has been changed for this ball object due to this one right so let's comment out this property and see what happens okay oh yeah it went down that's because actually right now my animation this object is within our within my main container which is this and this container pushing back everything down to the bottom if you look at over here right so because we have flex end so everything goes to end all right and this end is actually zero right now okay so it's it's like you can think it like that right now the x y coordinate over here y is zero over here right now because because this container style what's the style style is this one and so my actual view is starting from here you can think like that so my coordinate y value is zero over here but definitely so this is the minus value and this is the plus value we can observe this by changing the value say minus uh, one five okay so it'll go up all right so it went up right okay so say 650 it went higher so of course I can drop it but now it's everything happened is down there so this is not good that's what uh, that's what we don't want but we know the problem the problem is because this animation object is within our main container and main container is pushing back everything down over here you, because we are using flex and so which is ultimate over here so how do you change this thing it's very easy so just take this animated object out of this main container and we'd be good to go here we are but now we have new problems so it doesn't support too many component to be returned at a time because in react native we can only return one component at one time from a return function but if we want to re return many components then we need to use fragment the short term for fragment is using this sign so just put this sign over here and you're good the error is gone so everything is smooth right now so so far save it okay 
Now what's happening? The ball is gone. That's because 650. So 650 is way up there, way up there. So I want to change it to zero. Okay, it showed up, right? So zero is right over here, and down there it's plus, and up there it's minus. Actually, I want to set it somewhere to 50. Let's see what happens. That's it. I want to put it somewhere to 150. That's it right now. Okay, so now let's click on the button and we'll see our cool animation. Wonderful, that's what we're looking for. So let's change this to 300. Mm, it bounces more. Let's change this to 450. Okay, it would bounce more and more this time. Perfect. So that's the bounce animation using spring function and uh, typically it doesn't have a big difference if you don't use friction and uh, tension properties which you need to use and what else we learned this one so we need to know that this flex property over here so you guys need to be careful how you use it because i pushed everything down to bottom so that's why i needed to move my animation object uh, out of my main container and uh, what else so I think everything is good so guys if you like this uh, tutorial please subscribe and uh, give me a like thank you so much